Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this Nexus 5. This is the HTC One M8 and this is the Galaxy S5. And in this video, we'll be testing which one gets hotter. And uh, you might be asking, why am I doing this test? Uh, the reason for that is in India, the ambient temperatures are pretty high. Hence the surface temperature where you hold these phones, for example, if you're gaming or stuff, can get pretty high. That is uh, the top and the back. So we'll be testing how hot these phones uh, go. We'll be using three tests. We'll just uh, play back a YouTube video for about five to six minutes, around six minutes to see how warm they get. Then we'll be doing a benchmarking video. And then we'll also be running 3D Mark that will simulate gaming performance and how it will heat up. And for that, I'm going to use this heat gun. As you can see, uh, it just reached the surface temperature and it uh, will test that also some of you people uh, use these utilities like this battery that gives you temperature but these are internal temperatures we, i am interested in the surface temperatures where you hold the phone uh, so we'll be reading the surface temperatures the first test will be we'll be running a common youtube uh, video on all these three ones and we'll see and we'll run it for about uh, uh, roughly uh, six minutes and see which one gets uh, warmer the most. So this is the S5. The S5 I'm using is the Exynos Octaco version. So we'll be running the same video in full screen mode on all these devices. I've uh, disabled the volume. I'll just go this way. And let me lower the volume. And I'll load the volume on this one also. So I'll let it run for the next five or six minutes. Let's read the temperatures right now. On the Nexus 5, as you can see, uh, initially it's around 31.5 degrees Celsius. This is the S5. This is a little bit warmer. This is 33 degrees Celsius. The HTC One M8 is again 30.9. That's almost just about 31 degrees Celsius. So I'll let it run for about five, six minutes. And then again, we'll look at the temperatures. And now it's just uh, 3 minutes 40 seconds and the same YouTube video is running on all the three devices. Uh, let's check the temperatures. The Nexus does not feel that warm in the hand. Anyways, let's look at the temperature. Uh, it's still holding around uh, 34 degrees Celsius, the max we saw. So max that we saw was 34 uh, degrees Celsius. Let's look at the back. And here it's a little bit warm near the camera. As you can see, it touched about 34.5, uh, 35 almost. So that was for the Nexus. Still the video is playing now. Uh, this is the G uh, Galaxy S5. Uh, screen is just 33.1. So it did not increase that much. Holding at around 33 degrees Celsius. Uh, let's look at the back. And here also, actually uh, it's just around 32 degrees celsius so nexus 5 was a little bit higher i'll let the video play now this is the htc one m8 at uh, the 2014 edition and as you can see it's actually the coolest uh, 31 degrees celsius across the screen let me check again yes 31 degrees celsius uh, let's look at the back again the whole is uh, entire back is aluminium and here also about 32 degrees celsius let's yeah about 32 degrees Celsius on the back. So Nexus 5 was the hottest, I would say uh, the warmest, not hot, it's comfortable. So as you can see, it's just over six minutes, six minutes, 10 seconds. So let's look at the temperatures again. Uh, so the Nexus 5 is holding around 34 degrees Celsius. Uh, and let's look at the back. This is about 34.4 again. So 34.4 to 35 almost at the back for the Nexus. And uh, let's look at the Galaxy S5. Again, holding steady at around 33 degrees Celsius. And at the back also similar around 33 degrees Celsius. Uh, let's look at HTC One M8. Uh, this is relatively cool just at 31 32 degrees celsius i would say go back again about 32 degrees celsius so that did not make a much difference so let me get out of uh, this youtube video for all of them 
and now what I'll do is uh, we'll be running the Antutu benchmark on all these devices so let me just swipe away if anything is running we'll kill every task nothing should be running so we don't have anything that is running on all these three devices and now I'll run the Antutu benchmark on all these three devices and I also have Antutu here and so now we'll start the test on all those threes and uh, generally these benchmarks stress these phones so we'll be looking at the temperature I'll take the temperatures after about two minutes or so and again at the end of the benchmark so it's like been two minutes since we started running this and let's start with the nexus 5 the screen temperature as you can see is around 36 35.5 to 36 let's look at the back and this is pretty hot that is 39 degrees celsius around the camera yes almost 39.9 that's close to 40. Uh, let's look at this htc one m8 the back feels warm uh, the screen is not that warm as you can see it's about 34 degrees celsius 34.4 let's look at the back and uh, this is uh, 34.9 that's 35 let's go down yes down it's a little bit higher about 36 degrees celsius but not as bad as the nexus 5 actually the benchmarking is done on the nexus and let's look at this one this is also pretty high this is 38 degrees celsius for the galaxy s5 again this is the exynos octa-core version that we have and let's look at the back about 35 throughout around 35 i would say on this so definitely uh, the nexus 5 was the hottest in terms of benchmarking second again came this uh, galaxy s5 and surprisingly uh, this was the coolest that's surprising uh, results for me and now for the last test uh, let's uh, run the 3d mark test which is a graphic intensive test and this will simulate uh, something like gaming so let's run that also here i have it let's run and we'll use the extreme settings for all these devices because these are pretty powerful devices and as you can see i'm going to run the ice storm extreme on all of these and let's look at the results after a couple of minutes so it's roughly about two minutes since we started this test so let's look at the temperature for nexus again it's pretty hot 39 uh, is uh, pretty hot I would say on the front of the screen and on the back actually we are getting about 42 degrees Celsius yes 42 all, almost 43.2 so that's pretty hot for Nexus let's look how this HTC one fares the back feels pretty warm uh, but this uh, front portion of the screen is not that hot it's just 36 we'll take 35.8 30 yeah 36 and uh, let's look at the back back is about 37.8 let's take that as 30 yeah 38 degrees celsius uh, now let's also look at the galaxy s5 how it fares uh, again the screen uh, is a bit hot 38 point let's take it at 38 yeah 38.3 and let's look at the back about again about 37.2 uh, yeah 37.8 or something so back and front al almost about 38 so again the nexus 5 was uh, pretty hot uh, so i'll just take one more uh, temperature so i'll take one more so i'll take one more uh, i'll record one more uh, And let it run for another two minutes or when the tests are finished and we'll take one more reading uh, so this HTC one uh, M8 finished at first let's look at the temperatures about 36.6 front of the screen and on back about 38 degrees Celsius uh, one thing I notice is that it does feel a bit warm back let's look at the Nexus 5 that also finished just now this is very high 42 degrees celsius on the screen max it touched 
yeah 41 point it, it is highly uncomfortable above 40 things get uncomfortable and back was very high it touched 44 so very hot let's look at s5 uh, about 39 degrees it touched max 38 let's take it at 38 and back it's about 37 degrees celsius so again uh, the nexus 5 uh, was the hottest and i would say when you're playing anything surface temperatures above 41 42 degrees like you, it tends to get pretty uncomfortable so nexus 5 was the hottest uh, second came the galaxy s5 and uh, uh, HTC One M8 was the last. One thing to note is that uh, as this HTC One M8 has this uh, aluminium body finish, the entire back actually feels a little bit warmer to hold. But as we have checked, the surface temperatures are not that hot. Uh, the thing with Nexus 5 and uh, S5 is that uh, temperatures are concentrated maximum for the Nexus 5 at least around this corner. On the One M8, it is distributed throughout the body. Also, I would say uh, the Galaxy S5 and the uh, HTC One M8 fared pretty well. Uh, yes, after 38 degrees, uh, about 37, 38 degrees Celsius, you do tend to start feel the heat a little bit in your hands. Uh, but above 40, or uh, it gets a bit warm. Luckily, both the Galaxy S5 and the HTC One M8 uh, did not go consistently over 40 degrees centigrade. So. I hope that you found this uh, test helpful. Again, uh, many people were thinking that the HTC One M8 uh, would be the hottest. I also thought that. But looks like this aluminium body is helping it to dissipate out the heat. So I hope that you found this uh, video helpful. If you found it helpful, I'll appreciate if you can click the like button. I've also run a similar test on other models of smartphones. Link for those will be in the YouTube show notes. Thank you for watching this video. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.